guys, welcome back. This is part two of my Hawaii haul. And I think this will be the last part. I don't think I'm going to have to do a part three. Hopefully, because I didn't get a whole lot of stuff from the other stores. Daiso is seeking the store. I got a ton of stuff from them because Daiso, as I said in the first video, is like a dollar store with awesome stuff. So, yeah. Obviously, if it's decently priced, I'm going to buy a lot. So, yeah. Anyways, the stores I will be... Oh, sorry, having a little trouble today. Uh, the stores I'm going to show you, I will tell you what they, like where I got it from. For the swap meet, I cannot tell you what, like where I got it, like what store, like brand or vendor, I think. Sorry, I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I won't be able to technically tell you exactly who I got it from, for the swap meet, but I got it at the swap meet, okay? Okay? Okay. So, we're going to start with the first store I went to. This entire trip, the first store I went to was a stuffed animal store because I love plushies. So, I'm not 100% sure if this one will fit in the frame, so we're going to have to find out. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I got a giant white bunny. And I got this from the Squishable store. I also got this medium-sized carrot to go with it because, I mean, I mean, come on. You just kind of have to. Just go so cute together. So the store is the Squishable store. And, yeah. Ooh. Let's see, zoom in, Connolly, there you go, if you want to check it out, I'll put the info in the bio, I mean, sorry, not the bio, <laughs> the description down below. So this is a huge little bunny, cute, 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 and the carrot, okay, now on to the next, oh, poor bunny so huge so next I went to a store called Hakubundo I'm not a hundred percent sure that's how you how you pronounce it I'll uh, put it in like caption like letters down on the screen just in case I yeah, said it wrong I don't, I don't know I just don't want to say it wrong and have not, not have the like spelling and how yeah Anyway, I got this like planner type of thing. Came with some paper, but not a whole lot. So I do need to get paper. Couldn't find any there, but I did find uh, little tabs for the size because this is an A5. So yeah. Next, from the same store, I got this washi tape cutter and I also got some washi tape to go with it because in case I don't know I wanted to test it which I am 100% going to do so yeah let's actually test it right now okay so I got it all put together and I think I know how it works I'm not sure okay so we're gonna take it oops geez uh sorry you guys might start to hear thunder because it's starting to rain, I think. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to move this thing back as far as you want. And there's a blade, so then you just pull up. Oh, oh, that worked so easy and so perfectly. See? Oh, jeez, sorry, I accidentally folded the watch tape. That is awesome. You can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on this side, I can feel, like, you know, the tape feel. Okay, that's so cool. Ooh, ah. Yeah. Anyways, I think this is a super cool little fun thing to use. So, definitely thumbs up to that. The next thing I got was note piles or sticky tabs. 
you can put these in your notebooks, that kind of thing. Uh, just so they stick out. Just kind of like a sticky note, but kind of like a reminder one. I'll show you what it looks like when it's opened. I did not realize, but it kind of explains it on the back. It says, use me as a bookmark, helpful for taking notes, or marking your calendar. So it looks just like that. And I kind of had to get these because they're donuts. And my channel name is Drawing with Donuts. So, yeah. All kinds of fun little different colors. I think the colors show up pretty good on camera. Anyways, next. So next is a purple pasta uh, marker type thing. I'm not sure. I've never used it, but I thought it was a highlighter at first because that's why I bought it because I thought it was a purple highlighter. Let's be honest. But then I kind of I looked uh, on on my YouTube. I mean, blah, 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 blah. I looked it up. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I looked it up and it is kind of like a crayon type thing. <laughs> and funny enough, I don't know. Oh, funny enough, I really thought it was a highlighter though. Like, I don't know why. I also thought it was double sided for me because this thing. So let me show you. So, that's it. The twisty thing. Makes it come out more. Ooh, yeah. And can we go back in, please? Say we can. Oh, not enough. Well, that's alright. Um. It's definitely a fun thing. I kind of thought it was a stamp once I opened it, but then once I started looking up, like, you know, looking it up, I figured that out, so that's cool. Next. So the next thing that I'm going to grab is the last thing from the Haku Bundo store. Again, I'm not 100% sure if I am pronouncing that right, but yeah. Anyways, this is the make your own pen. So, basically at the store, you pick out four different inks, which are these, and you pick out a pen. My pen can hold four. Uh, see? Oh, dropped it. So that's what I do with the bag four inks. Some can hold three. Um, four, I think, is the most. That was it. For like, uh, you know how like there's a multiple multi-pen kind of thing? That's the type of pen that this is. So, yeah. I'm going to show you how I made it. I'm not, Well, I'm going to make it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it. So, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so I already took the inks out of the bag. So I take the pen, I open this little latch on the top, and then I just slide these the ink through. Okay, so now I put all of them in and now I take the cap and I push it back down and then it's just like any other fun little pen. So next up, I went to the swap meet and got this adorable strawberry milk purse. And it's so cute. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. My dogs seem to want to be in my videos today. That's great. Sorry. Anyway, I got that at the swap meet. And then I got more at the swap meet. So next. Next, I got these three stuffed animals from me and my friends. So I got Scrum. There are also keychain stuffed animals, I think. Scrump, Angel, and Stitch. 
from me my, and my two other friends. Next is, next up I got this infinity cube and I got it because I, my brother had one and, well has one and I want him my own so yeah, it's just something to pass time. Next up, I got some rock type things, and this is probably my by far favorite uh, thing I got at the swamp meet. I got this, sorry, purple lighting. Heart that is actually from a rock. Like, I think they carved it out and smoothed it. Oh gosh. As you can see, I like to drop things apparently. Anyways, I think it's so, so pretty. Got that for around $5. And I also got this tree. If I can get it. Sorry about that. But this is the cutest bag ever, and they gave bubble wrapping because obviously it's quite a find. Uh, sorry. Random notepad. Maybe it's like I don't know if I'm thinking. But yeah. So I'm fixing the wires. They got kind of like bent. So they use a little piece of wood and rocks and it's just so beautiful. I love it. So that is all I got from the swap meet. Next up is our last place I got stuff from. Yay, I think I'm doing a good time. Is the Alawani. So from the Alawani, I got four things. I got this backpack, which has this front pocket, a magnetic button, and a drawstring type of main pocket kind of back has that pattern on the inside, has like Monstera leaves, Minnie and Mickey on floaties, the Alawani symbol right there, flowers, it's very, very pretty, I like it. It's a little, see, Alawani lounge fly backpack, I have a Moana lounge fly backpack that I showed you guys last time that I got from the Alawani too. I'm definitely one of those expensive lounge fly bags person, but I only get them every once in a while, and I save up my money all the time. Just, I just love them. I don't know. Anyways, up next is a mini lunchfly backpack. And mini backpacks are basically what lunchfly are, but this is mini mini, like mini mini mini. So Disney has this thing called Nuimos. Um, not sure exactly how to say it, but that's what it's called there and they basically have these little stuffed animal characters and I'm just gonna lean on my dog <laughs> and there's like Mickey, Minnie, Daisy Duck, well Donald Duck, Daisy those kind of characters and they, you can get lots of different outfits and bags and this was I just thought it was so cute I do not have any of the little characters, and this is supposed to fit them perfectly, but I was planning on kind of just making this a keychain by getting a little, like, um, key ring or something, you know, to attach to it, to put on, to hang it off of one of my other backpacks, one of my other launch toy backpacks. The main reason I got this was because it's, um, it literally, it literally, says Disney Loungefly right there. It's just so adorable. It has all the snacks. There was this one or a black and white one which had like a white background with black Mickey heads. Okay. Next I got this Stitch Owlani pin because it's just adorable. Then I got this Disney bracelet. It is a Moana bracelet. Trying to get the lid off real quick. Okay, so got it. Oh, geez. Uh, huh. Okay. So 
Amulet's Moana bracelet, and the Moana is just plain silver. Has the heart of Tefiti, I believe, is what it is. And then it has a little flower. And then Moana with her paddle. Has a little diamond on her paddle. It's just a cute little bracelet that I thought I would like, and I do like it. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was the last part of part one and part two of my Hawaii vacation haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked, please make sure to like the video. It really helps me out. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.